Paradise is a very naturally beautiful place before the fire. Uh, it certainly was. Um, it was. We were known for our trees, uh, for our, an amazing outdoor natural beauty, uh, views from our canyons, beautiful sunsets, um, access to outdoor recreation. On the day of the fire, of course, everything was on fire. It was, you couldn't imagine something more different than what you would expect on a normal November day than what was happening that day. It just didn't make any sense. It looked like nighttime in the middle of the day because of so much smoke. Um, it, was, it was just unbelievable. And then of course, in the immediate aftermath of the fire, everything was gray. Um, my kids said it looked like a dragon stomped on everything because everything was just flat. I, I did not expect that it was going to burn the whole entire community and be as devastating as what it was or for the multiple communities that we had that were burned. It wasn't until there was a um, broadcast over our radio that there was a uh, full evacuation of Paradise that we, at least of myself, realize that this is going to be a big event. Um, it had looked like a nuclear bomb had hit. It was still gray and, and hazy. There was still a lot of fires that had gone on, but you just, you could never imagine the destruction that you would have seen uh, the day after that, that, that disaster. In the Paradise Fire, it's the first time I had a personal intersection with that loss. As my parents and my brother lived here in Paradise, and lost their homes. And now I'm on the other side of seeing what a thriving community could look like, where we can see the kind of changes that isn't just about scientific information, but it is about changed communities, communities that can thrive and rebuild. We have been doing work uh, at IBHS on the science um, of how to narrow the impact of wildfires. Nothing will ever be fireproof, but we can narrow the impact of damage, particularly against wildfire embers that drive these kind of disasters. And so based on science that we have done in our lab, as well as work that we have done in the field, including here in Paradise, we have laid out a standard called the Wildfire Prepared Home. It lays on the pieces about what a good roof, uh, with some building features and particularly the defensible space elements that come back around. This was in response to um, a request, if even a demand from the insurance industry, from the regulators uh, and public policy uh, leaders who said, we need to do the right thing, but we need to show people what those actions are and then be able to differentiate those folks as they do their work. Um, while I feel safe in paradise anyways um, and excited about everything that's happening and the opportunities, that extra layer of protection, just knowing that the science is behind the way my house was built, the way that I am landscaping it, just gives me uh, a peace of mind. Well, I've already been telling everybody that I know about this, what's happening. I think it's a great opportunity and I think it also is going to make other people feel comfortable, not just the people who are already in paradise, that they have an opportunity to make their house wildfire prepared, but it's going to make other people who want to be a part of what's happening in paradise feel more safe. We can't prevent fires, but we can mitigate what happens and let what happened to us be a lesson to everybody out there and don't let it happen to you. The town of Paradise is invested and committed to rebuilding a safer standard. So we have enacted more stringent local ordinances to require all new homes to be built to the wildfire designated home standard, a step above the current WUI program. So right now there is creation happening everywhere. Every single lot in Paradise has a tractor on it. Everybody is building something, they're doing something. Um, if you wanna be a part of doing something, you come to Paradise. But how do you as an individual come back home and be a better prepared individual for a wildfire? And we truly believe here at this town that this is the standard to do that.